Hi, my name is Tamar Giligashvili. I'm a senior at Bennington from Georgia, the country. I study film and theater, but primarily film. And I was very fortunate to be a part of Newman and Cox Public Action Fellowship for um, winter 2021, for which I made a short documentary on personal history with bride kidnapping in Georgia, forced migration, um, trauma, and its intergenerational effects. So a brief uh, historic context on kidnap marriage in Georgia. Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of information and data av available for how it spread in the country. Historians debate on the origin of it. Um, some believe that it was brought in during the Ottoman rule, something that it spread through the East and something that it's indigenous to the Caucasus region, um, whatever that might mean. And it became increasingly popular after the fall of Soviet Union in 1991. Uh, men would abduct their intended brides by force or deception with help from their male friends. So they would, um, well, stuff the, their intended brides into the car, either using force or deception and drive them to a remote rural area, sometimes to their home and keep them there overnight. A night spent under captivity equals marriage because um, during a lot of these kidnappings, women would be raped. And if they weren't raped, there would be a public assum assumption that the marriage was consummated and virginity was a very important trope for um, marriage, um, traditional Georgian marriage. So in the society's eye, if the girl was kept overnight, then her purity was compromised. So she didn't really have much options of not marrying him because she wouldn't have other opportunities of, to get married. In December 1997, Teak Ochadze was kidnapped by Alexandra Giligashvili. Teak is my mom. This is a still from a video from um, their, their wedding ceremony that was held uh, about a year after the kidnapping actually occurred. And this is an image from my grandparents' wedding ceremony. My grandma was also kidnapped by my, uh, my grandfather. In 2004, marriage by abduction became a criminal act of kidnapping in Georgia. However, not many men were sent to prison for it. Not, not many men were convicted, if any, because um, women were not pressing charges due to the fear of public judge, judgment and due to uh, kidnap marriage being associated so heavily with the culture and traditions and customs in Georgia. And church protecting it probably was a big part of it as well. Um, so A Very Happy Woman is a documentary around 35 to 40 minutes uh, long. Currently, the most recent draft is 38 minutes long, but um, as I edit it, it's subject to change. Um, I recently uncovered three more, I digitized three more hours of VHS footage from their, from their wedding, so there's a lot of new exciting um, material to go through. It's, um, it consists of 25 hour, hours of VHS footage shot uh, in from 1998 to around 2005, uh, mainly by my mom, but also by other members of my family. And also it consists of interviews with um, Thea, Alexandre, Tambrik, Ongivi, and myself. These are all stills and images from the film itself. I was hoping to share a trailer with you today. However, the scope of work was a lot more than I had imagined for six weeks of fieldwork term. So instead of a trailer, I will show you um, an excerpt from a prototype video that I had made uh, two or three months ago in anticipation of this film. And the film will be screened in May for the Bennington College community and will hopefully also go out into festivals to be distributed into festivals around the world. Um, Yes, this is just a short excerpt from the prototype video. Yeah. 
Okay, in the interest of time, I will have to stop there, but I will uh, put the link to the presentation and, and the Zoom um, chat so you will have access to it. Please do not share the link because if I do end up sending this film out to festivals, I do need that privacy settings for now. Um, I would like to take this time to thank the donors, the Newman and Cox Public Action Fellowship Foundation, Fieldwork Term Office, and Susan Scrobati for their continued support of students at Bennington. Um, and of course, my advisor and my Fieldwork Term sponsor, Jen Liu. Um, without her mentorship, none of this would have been possible. Um, thank you very much. <laughs>